Okay, hi there girls, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do the bonus reading for my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign, Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those. And thanks to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? Cross watcher, if you are in here, feel free to flip the roles if you're dealing with a Virgo. But Spirit, what is the energy here today from a Virgo that are dealing with fire sign? What is the strongest energy here? Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So you have the temperance coming out, Sagittarius energy. Show me more. And then you have a card coming out sideways, okay, which is a blockage here. And you have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. With the strength card and the justice and the sun. Ooh, and the hermit. Who's afraid of you, Virgos? So the card coming out sideways, like I said, is the hangman, Pisces energy. Let me see what else comes out. Because it kind of feels like someone here may be struggling in terms of... Oh, let me see first. Because they could be trying to be patient for something. Now, for others of you, what I was going to say, it feels like someone here may be thinking, do you know what, how can they kind of make peace or bring balance to a situation with you? But what is this temperance? Because this hourglass is making me feel as well that, you know, maybe time is running out or time has run out. I'm looking at the trees inside of the hourglass as well. It's almost like, you know, one tree is white and then the other tree is black. And it kind of makes me feel like two people on two different opposite scales here. But let's see. Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or a Sag. The journey, yeah. And the journey card is my card. It's a number 10 and it is my card for, do you know what? Something here may have come to the end of the road. Someone here, you know, could be traveling or something like that. Okay, I don't know. They're playing, um... What's that guy's name? Akon. They're playing I'm locked up. They won't let me out. What's the hangman? Yeah, you have courtship and you have occupation coming out here. You have wealthy man at the bottom of the deck with change and the official person and despair. Things have changed somehow, some way for some of you. And it feels like it's putting this fire sign in an energy of, I guess, sadness. Hmm. Some of you may be getting some sort of communication or like I said, this is someone who wants to reach out to you and communicate with you. But I don't know, hangman coming out sideways. The hangman in the upright is already, to me, bad enough, right? It talks about a lack of direction. And now, even though someone here may be enlightened or seeing something or someone from a different perspective, um, this is still someone, it's still an energy of, like I said, stagnation. Don't know which direction to take. Don't know what to say. Don't know how to fix something. Don't know how to bring peace. They just don't know. Feels like a lot of confusion around this fire sign for some of you. Show me more. The 
there's something as well about night time so it's kind of giving me like the nine of swords energy i don't know if this is someone who finds it difficult to sleep again you know when you look at the hangman in this card you see the moon behind um this person that is hanging upside down anxiety stress worry sleepless nights what is this my Virgos are dealing with a fire sign thank you spirit what are we getting stuck on the star damn <laughs> that doesn't clarify nighttime but you see the star it talks about hopes and dreams okay i don't know if you inspire this person somehow with the word inspiration for the star card you know some of you especially with the occupation out here maybe some of you have some sort of platform um but this is wishes and achievements and progressing to your goals. Yeah, it's kind of giving like six of wands energy like, yeah, the stalk. Some of you, you've got some sort of new beginning here. Like, what was I saying about change? There's something here about things changing and not being the same. This talks about transformation. The stalk also represents to me, you know, birth and, and ch children and pregnancy and things like that. Show me more going forward. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> going forward, you have the fox, you see? Now, the fox talks about someone who is very sneaky, selfish. It's also an energy of spying on somebody. Yeah, they're playing TLC, so I creep. Uh, listen, okay. Spirit, we're not... <laughs> I don't know if there's some sort of gossip going on around uh, about this fire sign, okay? Because I was about to almost say the rest of the words in my head from the song, but it's almost like they gave me a different vision here. So I keep it on the down low because nobody, something has to know. <sighs> okay. Uh, the fox energy is also someone who feels like they're very clever. Okay. So well, I'm going to clarify the fox because I don't like it with the courtship and the occupation. Because for some of you, it makes me feel like you may be dealing with someone who is an opportunist. Like I said, especially if there is something going on for you, especially if you're coming across as very stable, balanced, at peace. Hmm. Virgos, it kind of feels like with the sun, the tree, you know, the sun and the tree together talk about success and wealth and growth, okay? It talks about you learning from the past. And then you have this education, which again is that energy of knowledge and wisdom. Some of you could be studying something. The book also talks about mysterious and secrets. So I don't know if this person is very curious about what it is that you're doing. What's going on in the Virgo's life? But then you also have these documents and birds. So again, I feel like for some of you, let me just get another card. I feel like for some of you, this person may be going through some sort of legal situations. Clarify that energy. Thank you, spirit. Hmm, you got bad health and the lovers out here and concern. What's bad health with the lovers? poverty so i mean the bad health can talk about with unexpected income the, the bad health can talk about an actual physical you know health problem but it can also talk about maybe someone here isn't doing so well mentally emotionally especially with the poverty and the unexpected yeah look at that unexpected income with the message and despair was this person expecting some sort of finances is this someone who needs your help um financially was they, I don't know, if they were expecting something, it looks like there is some sort of disappointing news for them. But show me more. Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. What's the temperance, the journey, and the star? Hmm. 
Yeah, you might get some sort of news about some sort of betrayal. Or this person is wishing that they didn't betray you. But let's see. Seven of Swords. With the King of Cups. Show me. Virgo's dealing with an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius. What is Temperance Journey in the Star? So you have the Knight of Wands energy, Sagittarius coming out. Show me more. You have the Knight of Swords. And you have the Three of Wands. Clarify this Knight of Wands because for some of you, straight away, I'm seeing that you, you need to be careful of this person because it kind of feels like, again, with this Fox energy, almost it kind of feels like they're trying to find some sort of way to rush in here. And I don't know with the Knight of Wands if they kind of want to use like maybe passion to do it or this could be like an energy of love bombing here. But clarify this Knight of Wands. You have the Six of Cups. Okay, Knight of Cups, the Empress, the Magician, the Two of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. I'm telling you, for some of you, this is someone who wants to come towards you for stability. Hmm. But they're at a crossroads because they don't know how to manifest this. But show me more. What's the Knight of Wands and the Six of Cups? Queen of Swords. For some of you, it, it kind of gives an energy where this fire sign has some sort of outdated thinking, okay? It's almost like doing things the same way and, you know, they, they kind of feel like, well, you know... Uh, I did this last time and it worked. It's almost like, um, but I feel like the difference is, is you, Virgos. I don't know if this person has necessarily changed or if they're trying to or whatever. But I see you coming out as the Queen of Swords. And I see two night energies out here. And the night energies are no match for the Queen of Swords. Because the Queen of Swords, you see, especially if this person feels like they want to come in and use lust. The Queen of Swords, she's not vibrating from a heart space. She's using her intelligence. Queen of Swords is someone who's not afraid to cut people, places and things off. Queen of Swords is also someone who's very good at using her discernment and seeing straight through people. For some of you, this person may try to come in and use memories from the past. Do you remember this? Do you remember when we were? Do you remember? For some of you, it's a, it feels like a, a, a mind game. If I can get hold of the Virgo's heart, then I can have them completely. But the Queen of Swords is someone who has boundaries. Who communicates very clearly. Very clear and direct. What is the Knight of Swords? You have the Seven of Pentacles. Show me more. See, I don't know. You've got the Three of Swords coming out in the reverse. And it hit that courtship card. This is someone who... I can't, it kind of feels like, you know, they need to realize that you're not hurt over them anymore. You're not in a, you know, uh, where, what did I just say about the Queen of Swords? She's not someone who vibrates from the heart space. She Has she been hurt? Yeah, absolutely. And that's exactly why she is the way she is. Almost like an energy where she's determined that, hey, listen, I'm not going down that road again. Three of Swords in the reverse. This is an energy of moving on, forgiving. Maybe you have learned to transmute any kind of pain that this person put you through. Maybe you just uh, awaken to, hey, listen, we go through things for a reason. 
maybe you had some sort of lesson to learn and maybe you've learned that lesson from what I'm seeing. Some of you, you feel like you're very cold towards this person. And I'm hearing with good reason. But again, it's almost like the Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, right? Seven of Pentacles can talk about your investments. It can talk about, to me, um, someone who may be looking for some sort of results of something. But it's almost like an energy of how can, like I said, how can I get the Virgo to invest in me again emotionally? What's the three? Yeah, nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I was going to ask, what's the three of swords in the reverse? But you're coming out as someone who is, for some of you, single, independent, self-sufficient. This is an energy of living life, um, living life and enjoying life's little luxuries here. This is stability. You're contented. Oh, this is where you're going to be with that three of wands. And here they are. They want to come in with that offer. What's the three of wands? This is moving forward. This is looking towards the future. This is planning for the future here. Yeah, look, it landed on the journey card. The six of swords. <laughs> Things have changed. This is releasing baggage, releasing um, burdens, releasing stress and anxiety. And people that put you through that queen of swords, you ain't serving me. So I'm going to cut these ties. I'm going to cut this cord. What's the three of wands? Yeah, six of wands. <laughs> I'm telling you, some of you are headed towards some sort of victory, success. This is progression. This is you having confidence in yourself. We saw that nine of pentacles. And you're reaching your achievements. And this is someone who is like, they feel like they missed an opportunity. So they want to come in. And give you an, an apology, okay? Because this is someone who is in, it feels like some sort of negative vibration that makes the five of cups, crying over spilt milk, regrets, depression. But whose fault is that? That's not your fault. Three of cups, the king of wands and the wheel of fortune. This is someone who wants to come in and celebrate. This could even be someone who knows what your destiny looks like. Or they just see things going in your favor. Give me one more. Three of Wands and a Six of Swords. <laughs> the full <full> card. <laughs> so there's their new beginnings. Freedom. Okay. Free and unencumbered. This is you trusting in the next step that spirit has for you. You may not necessarily know what it is, but you go in anyway. It's because even though you may not be sure of the future, one thing you are sure of, Virgos. Is the past. Right? What is this? It landed on the seven of pentacles. Some of you, you're just focused on your finances, your businesses, because this would make the eight of pentacles. Some of you, this could even be saying that maybe you have even in some way, shape or form mastered yourself. What's the ace of pentacles? Why did it land on the seven of pentacles? And for others of you, yeah coming out sideways i don't even know what it is but <laughs> and for some of you this is someone who's really thinking hard about how they can get some sort of finances from you or something here is to do with money what's the coming out sideways page of wands there's a blockage page of wands talks about communication news excitement freedom but i feel like this is about communication so show me going forward. What's the hangman and the courtship? For my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo or a Sag. So with that Empress energy, some of you are very much sitting in an energy of abundance, manifestation, the Midas touch, right? You have the Two of Cups coming out here. Okay, show me more. You have the Four of Wands. Okay. You have the Emperor at the bottom of the deck with this Nine of Cups, with the Nine of Pentacles. Look at this. Trying to decide. Two of Wands, the Sun card, okay. Mm. Sun card with the Ace of Swords. Oh, they see clearly, yeah. Show me more. We have the Page of Cups. What is the Two of Cups? 
So the two of cups can talk about marriage for some of you, okay? Um, it could just be, like I said, you know, some sort of commitment. Uh, this is someone, damn, what's the two of cups? <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> I am so done. You got the Page of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. I'm telling you, for some of you, this is someone who has some sort of plan to come in and mess with your emotions. Emotional manipulation. There's something else here, but whatever. Um, what's the Two of Cups? It landed on the journey card and already talked about the journey card being a number 10 and it talking about maybe coming to the end of a, a cycle, the road, whatever, chapter. You got the death card. Scorpio energy. But this talks about endings so that you can have new beginnings. It talks about transformation. You know, give me one on the death. Yeah, for some of you, this is someone who wants to kind of turn. Uh, they want a new beginning, but let's see the five of wands. Hmm. What's the five of wands? Because this is competition. This is conflict, disagreements, tension. Too many people being involved. What's the five of wands? This could even be someone who wants to put an end to any other options that you may have. So... Again, an energy of um, ego and pride and the Nine of Cups. What's the Nine of Cups? The Eight of Swords. Give me one more for the Nine of Cups. Eight of Swords. Why is it here for the Five of Wands? The strength in the three of pentacles. I feel like this is someone who's worried about who you're going to partner up with or who you're going to work with or who you're going to be with or something like that. Strength card, three of pentacles. What's the four ones? The hermit. What's the four ones in the hermit? And you have the lovers on the seven of pentacles. Virgos, you could spend a lot of time at home, okay, with the uh, hermit and the four of ones. It's sitting underneath the occupation, so some of you could even work from home. Uh... You could be keeping a relationship secret. Give me one more on this hermit. Queen of Pentacles and the Star card. Yeah. You're definitely coming out here as healed. Some of you could be healers. Okay. What's the lovers? Give me one on the lovers. The seven of swords. <laughs> Give me one on the seven of swords for the lovers. So again, seven of swords landed on the seven of pentacles. Seven, seven is a warning here for some of you, okay? Again, uh, this energy of money and finances. What's the seven of swords? Seven of Swords talks about a liar, a cheater, a thief. I'm telling you, you got the Six of Wands turning out the damn with the Ten of Pentacles. This is something to do with someone's success. This is something to do with someone's stability. This is something to do with uh, an inheritance, a property. There's something here. And we saw the Wheel of Fortune. So, you know, this could be something about your destiny, your legacy. What is... Hmm. All right. Make sure you listen to your intuition at this time. What is the um the page of cups? What is the page of cups? The page of pentacles in the reverse. 
I just feel like with the page of pentacles in the reverse, something here wouldn't be um, a good choice. The page of pentacles in the reverse talks about a, a lack of commitment and it talks about greediness, right? It talks about you could be dealing with someone who is lazy and they just kind of want to jump on your bandwagon. This is someone who is unmotivated. They make bad choices. The, the, this page of pentacles in the reverse talks about bad news, irresponsible. And I'm just noticing that I, I haven't read. I mean, even though we saw the emperor, um, I don't see any kind of kings out here. I see knights and pages. And then... I feel like you're coming out as the hermit and this queen of swords. <laughs> I don't know if this is about a work situation, okay? But it's almost like I'm hearing spirit saying you're, you're overqualified for this person. <laughs> so again, it could just mean that, you know, uh, this person hasn't learned enough or they haven't changed enough about themselves or they, you know. But we have the hangman out here. What's the page of cups and the page of pentacles in the reverse? My Virgos are dealing with a fire sign. Coming out sideways is a three of cups. And the three of cups in the upright, it, it talks about friendship, celebrating, collaborating, you know, creating together. Happiness. But I just don't know if this is genuine. Yeah, the moon at the bottom of the deck. High Priestess, Seven of Wands. Listen to your intuition to defend yourself here. you got the Devil. Look at this. King of Cups, the Devil, and the Five of Pentacles. Mm. I don't like it. <clears throat> All right, Spirit, what's the energy in love? Virgo's dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries Leo, or a Sag. The energy in love you have soulmate coming out it says yes this is your soulmate but you also have codependency at the bottom of the deck addictions are affecting your romantic life and it says love yourself first because i feel like someone for some of you is coming in to express love but you've already freed yourself from this person for some of you whatever it is that they come in to offer you is only going to last like a honeymoon period because they have underlying motives yeah, look at that heart-to-heart -heart conversations. It says healing family issues. Yes, they want you to uh, forgive them here, but and maybe you have Virgos, but it says forgiving and learning at the same time. This person could even be, may have people around them that is, they're trying to get um, them to help them here. This could even be someone who may be reaching out to your family members, your friends. But you see, they want you to trust them. But I've never liked this trust card because if you look at the man, even though he's embracing the woman, right? He has some sort of wand in his hand. But the greatest thing is that who is he hiding from? Because there's an angel down here. This could be someone that you had some sort of past life connection with. Or maybe there's somebody in, um, that is coming in. But they're going to, for some of you, this is someone who's going to say to you, hey, listen, this is worth fixing. This is worth going forward. This is worth you investing in again. But pay attention to the red flags. Yes, because you've got true love and new love here. What's the energy in love? Soulmate. Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. What is a soulmate? You have confessions coming out here. Okay, it says someone has someone has to tell you something. And then you also have an air sign. So I don't know if someone has to tell you something. It could have, you know, air. Yes, it could have something to do with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. But the air can also just talk about communication. When I think of the swords. What's the energy in love? Maybe they want to tell you something about an air sign. What's the energy in love? 
coming out almost in the reverse. It's coming out sideways. It landed on the Knight of Wands. So again, this energy of, you know, make sure that this person doesn't come in with some sort of sad sob story, whatever, right? It feels like it's to get into your heart space. Coming out sideways, it says move on. It says someone is unavailable. It says a waste of time. It's over. Bottom of the deck, we have a narcissist. Someone is too full of themselves, very sure of themselves here. But you see earth sign and intuition here. Look at that gambling right behind it. Listen to your intuition, Virgos. Don't doubt it. Show me more. What's the energy here in love? Virgos dealing with a fire sign. Thank you, Spirit. Six cards. We have chemistry. It says, I have never felt a passion this intense. Some of you, you're dealing with someone, especially with that narcissist energy. Some of you are dealing with someone who is emotionally unavailable. It's that kind of um, little Wayne energy, you know, teach me how to love or. Is that little Wayne? You have unexpected outcome. It says things didn't go the way I planned. <laughs> it's not funny. And then you have confusion at the bottom of the deck. So again, I don't know what didn't go planned for this person. It says, I feel unclear about where I stand. You have indecisive. Landed on the Knight of Wands. Damn, the spirit. I'm not doing that today. Uh, it says, I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. <laughs> Show me more. <laughs> We have neglected. It says, I failed to give you what you needed. It says, unworthy. It says, you're a better person than I am. So with that unexpected outcome, well, what does that mean? Because this kind of makes me think of like the rising phoenix with that woman kind of tilting her head up towards the sun, right? It's almost like this person maybe didn't expect you to rise or... Uh, they didn't expect you to be successful. They didn't expect you to be that nine of pentacles energy, the strength card, right? Queen of swords, you stand in your ground, Virgo. Hmm? Yeah, you got shadow side at the bottom of the deck. It says you made me realize my flaws. So again, with that energy of someone is full of themselves, right? Maybe you took somebody down a notch or two, and I'm not saying you did it on purpose. But maybe you took them down a notch or two by just standing in your truth, right? By having boundaries, by speaking up for yourself. Show me more. Landed on the journey. Damn, it came out, shadow side. You made me realize my flaws. And then you have broken. I feel shattered about this situation. And reciprocity, yeah, because they didn't give you an equal give and take. For some of you, you were dealing with a runner. So some of you, they went chasing some sort of wishful thinking, seven of cups energy, illusion. Now they're overwhelmed. <laughs> because you're in the energy of self-love. Give me a message from their higher self. You have learning. So again, you made me realize my flaws. It says, I'm learning lessons now. I have grown up since our last encounter. I have been working on myself to be a better person whom you can feel proud of. I always say that's the mistake with this card. It's not about them making changes in their life and becoming a better person to please you. They should be making these actions and these choices to change for themselves but it's almost like for some of you it feels like you're dealing with someone who needs some sort of validation from other people give me a card for the love energy Virgo's in with a fire sign Aries Leo or a Sag so the card coming out the first one says forgiveness 
It says, stop focusing your energy on past events. It says, for life is too precious to waste. It says, you create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And then you, damn. <laughs> no wonder they both landed on the journey. You have freedom. It says, there is nothing stopping you. It says, the path is clear if you want it to be. And I feel like for some of Virgos, you chose to not allow this situation to cause you stagnation, right? So let us see. What was the lessons here, Spirit? What are the lessons here? Give me three cards. What's the strongest energy? Can I get one more? Second time I've seen the word freedom. It says, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And that's what this person has to realize. You know, they can't be looking at the Virgo saying, okay, you know, everything's working for the Virgo. I don't feel so good. So if I go over there, you know, everything's going to be okay for me. No. That's not how that works. You have adversity. It says, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Second time I've seen that word, learning. So again, this could be someone who was meant to come in. Maybe you was meant to teach them something. Maybe they were meant to teach you something. And then spirit says, okay, now the chapter's closed. Now you both go in whatever direction with those lessons that you have learned. And you apply it to your life as you move forward. You have peace. It says, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. It's that energy of love is the highest vibration of all. But how is this person going to get to the highest vibration of all if they don't learn how to love? All right, energy going forward. Virgo's dealing with a Leo. What's the energy going forward? Virgo's dealing with a Leo. There's no energy going forward. Virgo's in with a Leo. What's the energy going forward? Thank you, Spirit. That's a lot of energy. Just give me one card. Virgo's in with a Leo. Thank you. Coming out sideways. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's confirmation. For some of you, it's voodoo back off, okay? Some of you, I don't know, maybe there is a Leo that is doing some sort of spell work or whatever here to stop you from moving forward. Number 22. Boils down to a four, though. Virgo's going forward, dealing with a Leo, coming out sideways again. It says pay attention to the signs. It landed on the Queen of Swords. So again, for some of you, maybe you need to use your discernment. Yeah, damn, the Queen of Swords just fell on the floor in reverse. They're playing, um, is that Mary J. Blige? No more drama in my life. No more pain. No one's going to make me hurt again. Queen of Swords in the reverse is someone who's very cold-hearted, cruel, bitter. Pay attention to the signs, and it's interesting. Pay attention to the signs is a number 10. For some of you, this could even be a marriage, or maybe you live with this um, Leo. How are we doing for time? Okay. All right, show me more about going forward with a Leo. Give me three cards. What is the voodoo back off and pay attention to the signs? We have the Ace of Pentacles coming out here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if someone here is paying for some sort of spell work. Damn, you have the Tower, Energy, Divine Intervention. You have Spying and Controlling. And, and, you, and you have Controlling Tactics. Hmm. 
No, be careful. Virgo's dealing with... Um, let me get some of these out of the way. It's going to bother me that I scrunched it up into a pile. But uh, Virgo's dealing with a Aries. What's the energy look like going forward? Virgo's dealing with an Aries. Yeah, this Aries could be having trouble sleeping. I saw breaking dawn. I don't know if someone here is being haunted with that invasion of privacy and boundaries. What's the energy look like going forward from a Virgo dealing with an Aries? <laughs> Spirit, can I get a card? They're like, no, nope, we're not going forward with the Aries. <laughs> There is no going forward. Okay, so this looks okay. So you have personal, you have powerful personal growth. It's a number 41. Okay, it does boil down to a number five. So in the fives does talk about change, but let's see. What does the energy look like going forward? My Virgos that are dealing with an Aries. Now this powerful personal growth, it could be this Aries seeing you in that energy, right? Oh, confirmation. <laughs> Got crystals just moving by themselves now. <laughs> All right, what's the energy here? Virgo's dealing with an Aries. What does the energy look like going forward? Thank you, Spirit. got the selling out card what does this selling out mean because i don't know this woman she looked like she in some sort of lingerie and discover your life purpose hmm you gotta have faith at the bottom of the deck Show me more about the energy going forward from a Virgo's dealing with an Aries. This Aries could be realizing that you're in your life purpose. Or maybe they're discovering theirs, I don't know. Going forward, Virgo's dealing with an Aries. You have confusion and illusions, and then you have receive and open. Show me more. You have re release and surrender. What's, the, what's this? Present, abundant, and gratitude. Maybe this is an Aries who's seeing through some sort of confusion here, right? Maybe this is someone who is opening up to something here. Yeah, you've got decisions. What's confusion and illusions? Coming out sideways, you have chemistry and passion. I'm telling you. What's receiving open? You have karma, balance, and justice. I feel like for some other girls, okay, I could take this two ways though, spirit. Yeah, you've got guilt and sabotage at the bottom of the deck. Maybe I should just say both ways. Uh, for some of you, I see an energy here where, like I said, there may be an Aries here that wants to come in and confuse you using lust, right? We saw that Knight of Wands and whatever at the beginning, right? We still have it here. Knight of Wands, the Six of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Some of you are going to see straight through this person. Um, for some of you, if you accept this offer, you may be taking on some sort of karma. Or for some of you, maybe this is an Aries who wants to come in because they feel like they can clear some karma coming towards you. Uh, for some of you, this Aries may have had to go through something for them, almost like for their eyes to be opened. What's release, surrender and purge? What is release, surrender and purge? You have wish fulfillment. Yeah, and for some of you, you see, you trigger this Aries, okay, with the disharmony, triggers and conflict. Um, I'm going to clarify that as well, but it feels like for some of you releasing this um, Aries, it brings in your wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups energy. Yeah, third eye and clarity, use your discernment here. What's this harmony triggers and conflict? Almost coming in the reverse. I didn't appreciate you. 
Clarify again. They didn't appreciate you. And for some of you, however they treated you, it feels like it's being mirrored back to them. You have reunion and soul ties. They may be in another connection that they don't want to be in. Yeah, transformation. They didn't want to answer the call. Okay. Where are we? Sagittarius. What's the energy going forward for my brothers dealing with a sad? How am I doing for time? Okay, I've got a real quick. Otherwise, it's going to cut off. Going forward, Virgo's in with a Sag. Thank you, Spirit. You have holding on way too tight. And then you have intoxication, distorted view, and indulgence. Okay. One card. Thank you. You have soulmate coming on. And you have patience. So they want you to wait around, or not wait around, but you know, they may want you to forgive them for something. But show me three cards. Yeah, you have comfort zone. It says self node and clinging. Okay, so someone here is struggling in terms of growth. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, you have past lack and suffering, and then you also have forming structure and solid foundation. So it looks like you just want this person to change or something here. You have deception and temptation in the reverse. This is someone who has to let go of things that no longer serve them if they want this situation to work out here. So one more. Virgo's dealing with a Sag. This person may have some sort of addictions or something like that with intoxication, distorted view. You've got family, home, and you've got rebirth in the winter. So... There's a chance there for something to be salvaged, repaired, come back together. But maybe communication is an issue. But I am going to leave that there, Virgo. So I do hope that something has resonated with you. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgo.